All right, yet another GM in the three-minute pool. Third one in a row. Pantani, 22.73. Mr. Pantani. Let's see how we fare. I wonder if he's going to go for f4. Therefore, I'm going to play it early e5. If he had played knight f3, I probably would not have done this. But, well, I could have still done this, but... I think it's better against knight ge2. Otherwise, he might play f4 and clamp the position. Guys, I'm just going to play fast this game. It's not worth dwelling on decisions in three-minute games, unless they're super-duper important. Know what I mean? So just play fast. Strike hard. Strike quickly. Take no prisoners. Leave it all on the court. You know the drill. Should I take his light square bishop? Probably not. Just go bishop e6. Hmm. 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 Ooh, can he take on... No, he might have been able to take on uh, d5. Knight c6. Knight g6. He still might be able to take on d5. I don't know why I played that move. Now it's even better for him to try to take on d5. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was really asking for it there. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then... Okay, let's go there. Check. Queen d2, I can go rook e8, or d8 rather. But he's yeah, he's emerging up a pawn, isn't he? Oh no, that's not a good move either. He has queen h5 business. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So now I'm going to be down two pawns, but all uh, opposite color bishop, bishop endgames are a draw, right? That's what I've heard before. It must be true. Start putting some pawns on light squares. It's the only way to do it. Probably check me. Does not. Aha, activity. Scare our king. You know, despite being down two pawns, my position's not half bad. I'm optimistic. I've been in way worse positions before. It'd be a tall order to draw this with, um, in the opposite color bishop endgame, just trading the rooks. So I should probably keep the rooks on now. You're just gonna let me take this pawn? What am I missing? Okay. I'm surprised he did that. Very surprised. I do have to be careful now though. Okay, he can trade queens and now play bishop d5. Yeah, that was not good by me. Check. Well, am I animating that of some sort? Not yet. Not yet. Oops, bishop e4. Now I'm animating that. No, not quite. <laughs> oh man. I'm on, like Zug's wanked. Check. I'm in Zug. Oh, gross game. Alright, I resign. That was bad. Also, where's this guy from? Poland. Pantani from Poland.
Powell Jerks. Paul Jerks. Apparently I can't hang with these Grandmasters in three minutes. That's unfortunate. Well, let's just see where I went wrong. I did something really foolish. I spotted a threat that he had, and then I just like decided that he wouldn't do it on the next move. <laughs> you can't get much worse than that. Like, I think he can play knight takes d5 in this position. Because it works in similar fashion, right? Like he uh if I take on d5, so let's say bishop takes, he takes on c8, I take, and he takes here, and he nets a pawn. So instead of after queen d4 when he missed it, playing like knight c6. Yeah, knight c6 would have been good. I just did the same thing. And that's even worse because now his bishop is uh, more free on the long diagonal. So he can take and I'm in even worse shape than before. So let's just confirm that. But yeah, he could have played knight c takes d5. Okay, so here queen a5 was good. That was a better move. Uh-huh, and then take, oh, rook takes c1. Why does that work? Rook takes c1. He takes on f6. I take with the queen, I presume? Oh, because his f4 point is probably loose after all is said and done. Let's see if that's right. Here, Check. take, queen takes. Let's say take. Oh, I, okay, in that case, I can take on f1 with check, so that's no good. So he takes here, and then queen takes, bishop takes, knight takes. And we're all square at the end of that variation. Just an equal endgame. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't see very much in this game. Really, in the past three games. Check. Yeah, now he's up a solid pawn. And I made another tactical error right here. I probably should have just traded on b2. But immediately after I played this, I'm like, uh, there's tactics on h7. Oops. Check. Let's just see right at the end. I was surprised he just let me take on b3, but I think, yeah, even after the rook d7 move, I'm in bad shape. Because f7 is so weak. For all practical purposes, I don't think this is a holdable endgame. Yeah, and I think the rest was just me suffering. Okay, so another three-minute loss. Let's see if I can do better next time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Please leave me any feedback in the comments.